Need a little extra help activating those mid-back muscles, those muscles around the shoulder blades that help pull the shoulders back and give us that better posture. Um, reverse flies are a great option. Something most people are pretty familiar with, but something that often people don't execute correctly. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate and talk through what a good reverse fly should look like. And we're gonna come into that kneeling position again, because again, it just really helps us kind of activate the core, a little bit of glute, so we don't um, go into that anterior tilt as much. Um, so it's just kind of a little extra challenge versus just doing it standing. So you're gonna need a resistance band here, something maybe medium um, resistance. And you're just going to take your hands and you're just going to kind of wrap the band around them. And you can play with how much resistance you have, of course, by making it shorter or longer. All right, and you're going to come into this nice upright position, making sure head is centered on the spine. We're always thinking about that posture. Shoulders down, okay, shoulders over hips, hips over knees. We're not pushing forward and we're not hunching here. All right, set those shoulders back, gentle squeeze of the glutes and slight activation of the core here. And that's just gonna help us stabilize the lower body so that we focus that work on the mid back. All right, and then from here, we're just gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. Imagine trying to crack a little egg between the shoulder blades and release. Now my arms are staying straight. The movement is just happening by the shoulder blades squeezing together and releasing. And I'm gonna turn forward so maybe you can see a little bit better. I can find this platform here. So notice my rib cage isn't flaring forward with every opening of the arms. All right, I'm nice and strong, gentle squeeze of the glutes, abdominals are engaged. Exhale as you squeeze those shoulder blades together. And focus, what we're really trying to focus on is that upright position, so we're not going into that flared rib position, and that gentle squeeze of the glute. Um, so give that a try. If you're not feeling it, if you're like, oh, I'm feeling it all in my upper traps, Okay, here's something you can do is come a little higher with the arms and that should help isolate more in that mid back versus upper traps. Okay, so just bring it a little bit higher to focus on those mid back muscles. So give that a go. I recommend um, two sets of 10 to 15 reps and notice that you feel those little muscles around the shoulder blades that are again going to help pull those shoulders back and down.